Hi, I'm Ed from Cybex. So today I'm going to talk about a couple of launch control strategies and where you might like to use them. I'm going to keep this relatively simple as always with Cybex. It can be as complicated as you want to make it. But there are two main ones that I personally have used. One really that I now use. A couple of things to bear in mind with launch control is you might think, oh, that's great, just use traction control. Um, actually, it doesn't tend to work very well. So we'll just explain that why first before we go on to the others. Traction control works by measuring wheel spin. The trouble is with traction control for launch is the fact that a small amount of wheel slip results in a very large amount of wheel slip error in order to bring this under control requires a huge amount of engine torque to be removed. Um, in doing so, this often causes a stall of you lose entirely lose the amount of boost or whatever you've built up on the line, um, and you can kind of stumble. And the response times, insofar as a lot of wheel speed sensors need to be moving slightly before uh, they pick up a good signal and the fact that you might not even be moving yet and have entirely broken away traction and so you've got infinite amount of wheel slip if you like i.e. some wheels spinning and the other ones not even turning those are not conditions that are easy to deal with and manage so there's a lot of easier ways to do this now traction control works fantastic when a vehicle is actually moving already and in cases of also where you have a four-wheel drive car you may not have an accurate wheel speed sensor if in extreme cases you have all four wheels spinning. So say you're launching on a gravel track um, and you can quite easily break away all four wheels, then you're left with completely invalid wheel speed signals to base that from. So there are other things you can do. You can use GPS um, uh, speed references and things like that. But just the amount of error and the kind of values you're playing with, I found in my experience it doesn't work very well. So what are your other options? You've got two essential, really straightforward ones to use. One is a simple RPM limiter. So on the, on the EC or such as a Cybex, you turn on your launch control switch, you put your foot on the floor, and that brings a lower limiter in of say, what it might be, 4,000 RPM or something. You then bring your foot off the clutch, the car starts to move forward, and when the car has caught up to the speed of the wheel spin, or just before you can bring your foot off the button, then you get your full amount of power delivered to the wheels at your uh, normal RPM limit. Um, that's a really basic way to do it. Um, and that is a way that loads of people have done it. I've done that in the past. There are lots of ECUs that can only do it that way, and it's a really basic launch limiter. So what are uh, a more clever way of doing this? Cyvex has a time-based limiter. You can basically say that when you launch, there is no way this car is in one second already doing 60 miles an hour, right? There are certain forces at play here depending on the type of tires you're using, uh, the weather conditions, the traction on the track, um, the surface type of track that will vary these figures, but you will, with a bit of practice, be able to work out after how long, or even be able to data log and measure, how fast the car can accelerate, which is kind of an optimal condition. And so what you can then do is you set a timer, and a time-based launch control is an RPM versus time, which works on either clutch switch, or there's other ways you can get it to work from. You can even use a button if you want. Um, in the past, I've used clutch pressure. That tends to be a bit more accurate, I've found, than using a clutch switch. What you can do then is you say, okay, X amount of time after launch, limit the car to this amount of RPM. Certain time after the launch, limit it slightly higher to this RPM. And so what you're doing is you're artificially holding the wheel speed, like you probably, depending on the vehicle and terrain and everything, will depend on your slip targets. But you might be on tarmac around 10%, you might be slightly less. It, it really depends on the conditions. Uh, this is where the tuning and the track time is crucial. However, in order to get this and continue it, uh, you then set your RPMs and then after a certain amount of time, you say after X amount of seconds, exit the strategy and just go back to normal. And so therefore you have a kind of a programmed start sequence which is repeatable. 
And the key thing in motorsport to be competitive in order to kind of move forward is to be repeatable. Launch controls is no good if occasionally on the pedal you get it spot on and you get off the line perfectly, but the next run you completely blow it and the next guy next to you, certainly on drag racing, beats you off the line. It's you're faster on the track, but he's faster off the line, you lose. This brings consistency and this is where you can become competitive consistently. So those are two basic options. Uh, one is just a, a static rev limiter at low RPM, old school, basic, you know, people sometimes use this on the street just for a bit of fun, pops and bangs and all that kind of thing. The more advanced is time based and you can set as always with Cybex, there are exit vehicle speeds. So on your time based one, once your wheels have exceeded a certain speed limit, you can exit the strategy. Um, and there are drive by wire options where you can, you might not want to have full throttle in a car where you don't have drive by wire. You kind of don't have as much options over there. It's if you think you can always keep the throttle at the same point and use a time based strategy, fine. And it does work or you can use by drive-by wire, a target-based throttle, so that the throttle on every launch will always be at the same point. Uh, again, brings more consistency. It's surprising how well these work. The time-based is fantastic. I used that on drag cars, I've used that on sprint hill climbs, track car, uh, all kinds of stuff, it just works. And it's a nice one the customers can get to grips with as well. So you guys, um, your tuners will be able to help you uh, with this, and it's one of the, key things I like about the Cyvex ECU uh, and what I've used and been successful with. If you have any questions about our launch control strategies and the way the system works, feel free to ask them below. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much.